All right, today is one week from the wedding and we are going for our <gasps> final dress fitting. How do you feel, bride? Nervous. I hope Nervous? I didn't eat too much. Oh, you are gonna look beautiful. Time. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, back from the dress fitting. As you can see, my sister got her dress <laughs> for the big day. And now we stopped and got some, you know what it is, in, in and, and out. out. Oh, yes. Yes. It's time to grub. <laughs> so let me get this food situated. So this is how you prepare your tray for in and out. Now you're ready to grub. Yeah, my sister, you in and out. And the good thing about in and out is you get to eat a lot on a small buck. So, how much one meal costs an in and out? On average, the one meal costs six dollars. Six dollars for good quality food. I mean, I'll be saying it's overrated, but it's cool though. <laughs> She say it's overrated, but I asked her what she wanted to eat for lunch so that I could treat her for going with me to the dress fitting. First thing that came out her mouth was in and out, so. A lot of restaurants um, market off of the smell. So when you, in a neighborhood that has like an in and out, the smell drives you to go to that restaurant. Mm -hmm. Same thing with like a El Pollo Loco. If you live in California, you're familiar with that restaurant. Oh, they don't have those everywhere, huh? No. What's another one? El Pollo Loco, In and Out. I know we were missing Panda Express. That's not that's that's not everywhere. No, I'm just saying like restaurants in general that has the smell marketing. Um, I don't even know if it's a tactic, but I know I've heard that the colors are a tactic. Yeah. Like yellow and, and red make you hungry. Mm -hmm. Like it's a scientific fact. That's why McDonald's and all of them be. And you know what's different about in and out Look, this is one thing a lot of people don't know about burgers. Some restaurants, no, some burger chains put their lettuce and tomato on the top and some of them put them on the bottom. In and out is unique because they put it on the bottom. I thought Carl's Jr. was the only one that did that. Carl's Jr. is another California burger place, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. Are those peppers? Yeah, pepperoncinis. Oh yeah, I be getting pepperoncinis sometimes. See, that's another. I'm not thing. sure if those. I know are called I A lot of people like to eat peppers with their food. My hey, fiance burger? is from Trinidad, and last night we had. What did we have for dinner? I can't even remember what we oh, had for dinner last off on night. Burger. What did we have for dinner last night? Did he cook something or y'all went out? Chinese food. We ate Chinese food last night for dinner and he, were, he was eating these peppers. With the Chinese food? The orange peppers. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. But the orange peppers, he was eating them with the Chinese Them short, food. fat orange peppers? Yes. What? So I'm like, those are hot. But when he was eating it, it looked so good, so I want to try it today. <laughs> <laughs> he should do the spicy noodle challenge with me. I have, I have spicy noodles at home. So what do you do? You just you just eat as many. Their goal is to, when you eat the spicy noodles, you're supposed to eat the whole noodle pack. Mm. But you got to eat all of them. Mm. See it. Spicy noodle. I, I love spicy. I live for spicy food. I yeah, like spicy I food. I'm not, I don't have a habit of eating pepper to my food. Like, I don't even know where in the eating process does that take place? Do you just take a bite and then bite the pepper and then eat it together? Or do you just... Let me show this girl how to do it because she just don't know. I don't know. Look. Now, see what you do. You take you a bite of burger, right? Mmm. The tip. Right? Take that juice. Oh. And you pour that juice on that burger. You know? Pour that juice right on top. And there you have it. I how you eat yellow peppers with your burger. Are you continue eating the, the yellow pepper throughout the process? Mm-hmm. And me personally, I don't eat the yellow pepper. 
I just get the juice out of it, mm. you know. So I'm gonna do that. Then I go on to the next pepper. I don't like them seeds and stuff. Seeds hold too much heat. That's why I don't know if I can really do the spicy noodle challenge, but I'm gonna try it though. Pepper. Bite the tip. Juice. She got a cheeseburger. I got a double, a double burger. This is it's good. Mm -hmm. the pepper. Is the pepper? Mm-hmm. Now I have to understand it. It's bomb with I don't the pepper. Think I, I don't think I would have another burger without a pepper now. What? <laughs> I'm a believer. 100% converted you, girl. I never had it on Chinese food, though. I would, I would go more for, like, like a hot sauce or a sriracha or something. I've never seen people eat peppers with Chinese food. Must be a Trini thing. Must be a Trini thing. Just in case y'all didn't know, this is my sister fiance that we're talking about. And he's from Trinidad. And he eats yellow peppers on Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting topic. Orange peppers. Oh, orange peppers. I don't know what those are. I, I hear that those, that's not um like a ghost pepper or something. What's the orange peppers called? That's like a ghost pepper. It wasn't that big. You remember Glozelle, the one who wore the uh, green lipstick and she was, she said, oh, this cherry is so pretty or this, mm -hmm. this piece of fruit is so bomb. It wasn't one of them? I think so. Girl, he be eating some hot stuff. I don't even know where he got the pepper from. <laughs> where did you get the pepper from? A lot going on. But your girl is ready. I got my dress, I got my shoes. The wedding is next Saturday. Today is Saturday. The wedding is next Saturday. Seven days away, so... We are right there, and Christmas is Monday. So, it's a busy time for us. In the midst of everything, though, I would have to say I could not have had a better maid of honor. Kayla's been doing such an excellent job from taking last minute calls, uh, oh. <laughs> reducing my stress levels, like being a little buffer between me and whatever the issue is. Um planning a fantastic bridal shower tea party because I love tea she's been doing a great job I'm very uh -huh. happy I couldn't have asked for a better maid of honor well thank you did I tell you I was her maid of honor <laughs> I'm her maid of honor <laughs> and it's fun this is actually my first wedding ever like I've never been to a wedding before I've never been in a wedding so my first time at a wedding, I'll be the maid of honor in it. So. <laughs> no, that's that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Cause you ain't. Oh, oh my goodness! Did I do this whole mukbang video with a booger in my nose? <laughs> hmm. I used to think that's what matte lipstick was. That's why. Oh, that that lip liner pretty. Like when people used to have like red matte lipstick, I always assumed it. Like Selena it was... when she was singing that song in that movie. I could. Fall. Yes. It looked like lip. I swore that was um. Lips, lip uh, liner. I should go get me a pink lemonade refill. That's what I need to do. <sighs> well, it was good talking to you guys. Let my sister come up in here so she can say bye too. Bye. And we will see you guys next time. Later.